Welcome to Dr. Linda Page's Health Secrets CD. In Part 6, Dr. Linda Page discusses estrogen disruptors, what they are, and how to avoid them. Are you suffering from estrogen disruption? Environmental hormones are so commonplace in our society today that there is no way to completely avoid them. They come from pollutants, hormone-injected meats and dairy foods, plastics, pesticides, and hormone replacement drugs for both men and women. Nearly 40% of the pesticides used in commercial agriculture today are suspected hormone disruptors. Experts everywhere are concerned about how these chemicals affect human health, even the health of future generations. In 1996, the Environmental Protection Agency began implementing a mandated plan to test 87,000 compounds to see their effect on the reproductive systems of humans and animals. Due to the enormous scope of the project, a lack of funding, and strong opposition from the chemical companies, the progress on these studies is very slow moving. The research that has come out shows environmental hormones can affect your entire endocrine system including the communication system between your glands, hormones, and cellular receptors. They alter the production and breakdown of your own hormones, too, and the function of your hormone receptors, disrupting hormone balance at its developmental core. They can compete for receptor sites in the body and bind to them in place of natural hormones, causing fluctuations in hormone levels. They are a serious concern for women in early pregnancy because a developing embryo is so highly sensitive to environmental estrogen toxicity. Women often ask me how to tell if hormone disruptors are impacting them. So here are some signs to look for. Breast inflammation and pain that worsens before your period, usually followed by heavy, painful periods. Weight gain, especially in the hips and thighs, Hot flashes, a sign of estrogen disruption's effect on the hypothalamus. Endometriosis, now linked to dioxin, an airborne hormone disruptor. Breast and uterine fibroids and ovarian cysts, nearly always caused by too much estrogen. Breast, uterine, and reproductive organ cancer. Up to 60% more DDE, DDT, and PCBs, known estrogen disruptors, in women with breast cancer. Early puberty, nearly half of African American girls and 15% of Caucasian girls now begin to develop sexually by age 8, another sign of estrogen disruption. Consider an herbal hormone balancing formula with herbs like Dong Quai fennel, and licorice root. Phytohormone-containing herbs have incredibly complex activity. At only one four hundredth to one one thousandth the potency of circulating estrogen, phytoestrogens help to balance your own estrogen levels with estrogenic or anti-estrogenic effects to match what your body is actually calling for. Phytoestrogens can even help block uptake of excess estrogen for added protection against those estrogen-driven problems. Crystal Star Female Harmony Caps help to reestablish hormone harmony and have been used safely by women from puberty to menopause with very good results. Most women notice improvements like less PMS, mood swings, breast tenderness, and much less painful menstruation within the first two weeks of taking female harmony. Adding evening primrose oil caps, about 1,500 milligrams daily, improves the hormone balancing results even more. For chronic or long-standing problems, your results may take longer. A general rule of thumb is one month of herbal therapy for each year you've had the problem. If you have a serious health problem, Linda Page and Crystal Star Herbs recommend you seek advice from a health professional. The information in the following educational segments has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Crystal Star products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.